Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a fun project for you today. Recently I was in an antique store. I love those stuff. I love that old stuff and I found this cool quilt block and I thought this would be an awesome quilt to make with charm squares. Those little five inch squares that we love. And so I brought it home and it wasn't until I got it home that I looked at it and realized what it really was. There's about three ways you could make this block but we have chosen, we've taken this part right here, this one block that's a bow tie unit right here, and that's how we're going to make this quilt. You can see there's another way too, four patch and a snowball and four patch and a snowball, but we're going to concentrate on this bow tie block. So let me show you how to do this. Let's look at this quilt behind me. All right, so here is our little square we're going to work on right here, this little bow tie block right there. And you can see when they come together, they make this cool pattern. And you can see this block in the pattern. But we've dissected it and we're going to make it a lot easier for you. So to make this quilt, what you're going to need is two packs of five inch squares. And we have used this hopscotch candy necklace by Jamie Fingle for RJR. It's just adorable. You're going to need some background fabric for your five inch squares or you can use charms as well. You won't use a full two pack. Um, but we used yardage because of that and you're going to need one and three quarter yards and out of that that includes this first little border right here. This outer border is a six and a half inch border and you're going to need one and a quarter yards for that. Now let's check on the backing. Here's our backing, that cute little purple print and we used four yards for that backing. So this is a quick easy quilt, basically a four patch. So to make this block, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to choose two for your, uh, for your bow tie parts. And then you're going to choose a contrasting block like this one right here for the little bow tie middles. And we're going to take one of these five inch ones and we're going to cut it into fourths. I'm going to line my two and a half inch ruler right along the edge like this and cut. And then I'm going to do it on this edge as well and cut. And then these are going to make the middle of our bow tie. So I'm going to set these over here. Now that will make enough for two of those blocks. And then we're going to pull this over here. We need two of these white ones right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take two of these little squares and I'm going to finger press a sew line and we're going to put it on a corner and that's going to make our little bow tie, uh, our little bitty bow tie. So it doesn't matter what corner they go on because you're going to be able to turn these however you want to. So we're going to sew on this line corner to corner and let's go to the sewing machine and do that. All right, I'm going to line up my, line up my presser foot in the direction I'm going, make sure that my block is lined on the corner and sew side to side like this. And I'm going to grab that other one and just chain piece these. We love chain piecing it so fast. All right, again, make sure it's lined up on the corner and you're so straight across, just like that. Then we're going to trim off this edge. So we're going to take our little ruler, lay it a, a quarter of an inch away from the stitch line and just trim that off. So you're going to do that to both pieces. We're going to take our other ruler, our ruler and line it up on the other line, trim it off as well. Now we want to press these back. So we're going to bring it over here to the iron. I'm going to just set those seams. I don't always remember to do that, but it does relax that thread a little bit. All right. Now when we go to put this together, we're going to put it together just like a four patch. So these are going to go opposite sides and we're going to put our two colors right here like this. See how that makes like a little giant bow tie right there? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay these on top of each other. And again, we're going to just chain piece them. Going to go to the sewing machine and sew a quarter of an inch down the side. I'm going to make sure these are nice and lined up. And then we're going to do this one as well. All right, now we'll press these open and then we're going to sew those together so they make a neat little four patch. It's so funny how you look at a pattern like this and, 
and you, uh, you see different things in it. And I didn't notice it was a bow tie until I got it home. So now there's this. We're going to lay this on top of here. You want to make sure that you've pressed your seams in opposite directions so they can nest right up. You can see right here. Mine are laying real close together. I'll even scooch them a little bit more. Feel it with your fingers to make sure there's no room in there. And then we're going to sew a quarter of an inch right down the side. All right, let's zoom with this. Here we go. All right, now we're going to press this open. And our whole quilt is this little block right here. And it makes such a cool pattern. This is a traditional bow tie block right here. And we, to put this together, it's just so easy. I've got a few blocks made over here. And let's look at the quilt first. So see how these go where we put the big blocks of color together. So this top row right here is, you want to put it so that these two blocks come together and then these two, then these two, then these two, just like that. Your next row, again, you're going to match up your colors, you know, so you always put it together so those big blocks come together. So when you lay it out, you're going to do this. You're going to go, here's your first one, and then your second one is going to line up just like that. Third one up here. See how that goes? Fourth one right here. When we go to add the next row, you're going to make sure that it comes together in that big four patch, just like that. See how cool that looks? And this one here. So you're always putting your big blocks of color together and it's so easy to lay out, makes a cute quilt. And this block right here is, is this block right here. Isn't that fun? Now the quilt ends up being, oh, 61 by 70 inches in size, so it's a pretty good size quilt. We're calling it roundabout because it makes these cool rounding patterns. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the roundabout quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.